Hi, it's Kelly and welcome back to my channel, Me More TV. This is in fact the final look of today's video, so if you want to see how I've achieved it, stay tuned. I'm really excited to be shooting this video in my new home. This is my first video that I'm actually shooting here. So today's video is get ready with me. Uh, it's my first one and yeah, just really excited to have a little chat, show you what I use for my everyday makeup. It changes all the time, so it's really good to um, upgrade my videos and share what I love. So my skin is all prepped. Actually, if you want to see my top five skincare products, um, that will be out next month. So make sure you subscribe, please. So let's get started. First up is foundation. I don't use a heavy foundation. I think if your skin is clear and has a little bit of a glow to it, that's really important is your skincare routine to get that glow. I prefer to use a tinted moisturizer. I use the Longcom and it's enough for me during the day. If I'm going out for like a big night, I will put on a little something a little bit heavier to give me a bit more of a flawless complexion. This is the light and the medium. Remember, don't be afraid to mix them up. So right now I've got a little bit of sun because I got away for Christmas. So I'm gonna use a medium. All hands on deck is how I like to do it. I know a lot of you young girls use brushes and do all of that, but again, I think don't you waste half of your product, especially if it's liquid on a brush. So this will go on just like a moisturizer. You know, it's just keeping this really, really fresh, really light. Make sure it's not up on the neck, ladies, girls, up on the neck, don't pull it down. Gravity will do that regardless. Don't, don't speed it up. And then just tap it in around the nose area. Um, I don't use a powder. It, it tends to accentuate those smile lines that we have. So just keeping a nice sort of liquid um, tinted moisturizer really works. <laughs> I need my concealer. It's upstairs. And just like that, magic, my concealer appeared. Appeared. You know when I'm really tired, my New Zealand accent comes out? Or if I've had too much to drink, yet I haven't been back home for 27 years? Um, I do sound more Australian than, than I do uh, Kiwi because I lived in Australia for 16 years. This is my concealer. It's from NARS and this is medium. It's a macadamia. It is beautiful. It is the best concealer. And always put your tinted moisturizer on first and then bing, 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 bing. Any little, sometimes you might do it around here. You know, that's just gonna cover that little spot nicely. If you're very dark around the eyes, you can use it under the eyes. But I still, this is again one of the products I've been using for 20 odd years. It's the Touche Cla, Touche Claire, Touche, Touche. <laughs> In one of my other videos, I don't know how to say it. It's either Touche Claire, Touche Cla. It's like a concealer, but it's more of a light reflector. And I've got number two and number three. Because I have a little bit more color, I'm going to try the number three. But you always want your concealer or your um, light reflector to be lighter, at least a shade lighter than your foundation. Hmm. Come on, baby. So I'm just gonna do there. <laughs> I usually would do a little bit around there, but I don't need to because I've used the concealer. You don't need much. It's just a little bit lighter and it catches the light and it reflects. So it's great for fine lines, but it's also great for darkness. Off onto my bronzer, which again, I had stopped doing since my modeling days 10,000 years ago. I use the Benefit bronzer. I have so many different bronzers. Also the Laura Mercier. That's a beautiful one too, but they're a little bit darker. The Benefit, the Hula is enough. It's quite subtle. See this brush? It's soft, but it's firm. So if it's too soft, your products is just gonna go psh. So you wanna control it slightly. So I'm just working around that sort of cheekbone area, under the chin. I know you young girls do a contour and a contour here. You do a bronzer, then you do a contour, and then you do a thousand other things. Mm -mm -mm, not for this old girl. Bronzer is more than enough for me. Remember, you can always add more, so less is more. And, oh, I forgot this, which I really like doing, is with the bronzer, just in the crease of the eye, just 
just put a little bit of bronzer just in the crease and you'll see what I do with the highlighter highlighter is my new best friend I swear when I first started obviously my friends are used to seeing me now but when I first started using highlighter everyone was like what, what have you done what what God, you just look you just look so fresh you look so young and of course you know I love to share I love to share when I find something new that I think you or anyone might benefit from I'm going to tell you so I'm sure that this Charlotte Tilbury sales have gone through the roof maybe maybe not <laughs> actually I'm gonna throw a little bit of the blush on I love this little Chanel one it is my it's called 72 rose initial this is what I mean we used to always do this, this is our trick you smile and just here just here I don't do anything back here okay it's just here and just here get that little round the apples of the cheeks is that what they call them now I know that looks like whoo might look like a, a little bit heavy right now but once I've got my mascara on and a little bit of eyebrow it all just blends in so highlighter simply there there I do it just on the brow bone a little bit there there mm -mm. If I'm going out at night, I'll go a little bit crazy with it. And then, just, I dab it, because you don't want to lose it. You don't want to go too far over the blusher. Now, that highlighter will take over just from your bronzer. So just, just very lightly make sure that's blended up into the highlighter. And then don't forget up here, tip of the nose, here. I love that little, the Cupid's bow. Now this in here, I'm gonna leave that right till the end to actually blend it in. I wanna get it there first. And then I go into mascara. Eyebrows, that's the doorbell. I have a doorbell in my new home. Hold that thought. Mascara. Now you can do your eyebrows before or after. Again, I've got quite thick eyebrows because I was like that Brooke Shields girl <laughs> in the 90s. I was like monobrow. And then I plucked them so I had like a line. I had one hair, you know, the, for the whole line across. And I go, thank God they grew back because sadly I've got some girlfriends that didn't grow back. <laughs> That's just part of living in the 90s, I guess. So because they are quite thick, again, if I'm going out at night, I would definitely put a lot more color into them but I'm just gonna do something really light. This is from Blink um, Brow Bar. This is the Cinnamon Spice, which is a lighter one. Both of these are sort of to sort of make your brows a little bit fuller. If I'm going out in the night, I use the Indian Chocolate. So let's just do a little bit of that. And all I'm going to do is just gonna do that. Gives them a little bit more depth if there's any little areas that are not sparse is that the word and then if I felt I needed to I would my own saliva just you can just sort of create a nice natural line through that don't go too far out you know you shouldn't go past your eyebrow should not go from the corner of your eye up that's as far as your brow should go these girls that do it right down there I know it's all very different you know I am I'm 50 in three years time can you believe that? <sighs> Bloody hell. It's just a number. It's just a number. That's all I think. I mean, I've grown up and I've learned a lot, but I'm still just young at heart. And long may that last, I say. Again, just have a little look. So eyebrows definitely after a uh, highlighter and that and the bronzer on the eyes. Remember, hair frames the face, eyebrows frame the eyes. Eyelashes, again, 20 year, 25, 27 years, I've probably been using this one for now. It's a Maybelline, it's a great lash. Don't use a waterproof one because you're gonna lose half your lashes. Honestly, I don't know why girls do that. This is the Kelly trick, the Me More trick, which you would have seen if you've watched any of my other videos. Bend it, every mascara you have, bend it. It's not going to break off, it's not going to ruin it, it stays bent because look, oh, so much easier to apply. 
I used to do eyeliner and lots of um, mascara, but I've toned it down a little bit more, especially for my everyday, and I do a little bit on the top. You can uh, shape them. I mean, you want them to go this way, yeah? Oh, eyelashes to the left, eyelashes to the right. Clunky bits. Remember, any mascara on the skin, do not stress, do not worry about it. We leave it. You leave it, you do your lips, you come back once it's dry, it's a lot easier to remove. If you've got any bits sticking together, these are great, just little disposable mascara applicators. You can just separate them. And onto the other eye. I was almost in a mode of doing half my face because when I used to teach this to my students in Australia, I would do half of my face and I would do a student and her half of her face only for the students to, to learn and to see the difference. But it's just a great way to show a before and after. You know what, I'm really excited about um, my content this year. Even the next couple of months, we're focusing on quite a lot of uh, beauty. Next week I put out my top five skincare essential products. Uh, I'm also doing some facial rejuvenation through acupuncture which I'm really excited to, to trial. I've got a video coming out on um, skin brightening, a skin brightening peel as well. And then one I've been wanting to do for years and years and years is my how to pose. How to pose for real people. It's just about giving you some simple tips on how to pose and not feel awkward in front of the camera. You have some friends that go, no, if I don't know, I don't want to run away. That won't be you once you see this video. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun to make too. Okay, so last but not least, actually always just do a little check. Go, do you need a bit more blush? Do you need to blend anything down in? Just going to... Make sure that, see I'm not putting any anything extra on the brush. You're just sort of making sure it's all blending through. Now would be a good time if you did want to apply any more uh, highlighter, would be now. I'm not still not going to, to blend that in just yet because I'm going to do my lips. Really simple lip gloss. That's all I do. Very rarely will I do lipstick. Uh, sometimes I might do a really a nice light nude lip liner, which just keeps the lip gloss in so it doesn't bleed. This one is a Victoria's Secret lip gloss and it's called Satin Gloss. And the color is Candy Baby. And it says baby. <laughs> I'm not trying to be cool. Candy Baby. And, you know, I think it's also about Focusing on a feature that you really love and enhance it on your face. You're all beautiful. We're all beautiful. Embrace what you can't change. And if there's something you can change, well, change it. <laughs> or stop whinging about it. <laughs> it's my theory. Right, now that mascara has been on there for a little while. So using, again, my own saliva, you watch how easy that just comes off. Please don't do it when it's wet because that's when you're going to get big black lines everywhere. When it's, once it's dry, other side. Nice and clean line. Boom. And any here. I'm turning the cotton bud as I do that so it's a clean side every time. Mirror check. <laughs> All good. And then, don't forget, what are we going to do? Blend that in. Get that little twinkle in there. I love that, I think that's really fresh. And it's fresh without trying too hard because as a woman who's over 45, I don't want to look like, you know, mutton dressed up as lamb on my face. <laughs> you just want to try to do it subtle, move with the times, but don't go too crazy. Thanks for getting ready with me. I hope you've enjoyed it and found perhaps one new tip that you can apply to your makeup routine. So don't forget, I make lots of other videos on beauty, paleo, and lifestyle. So please subscribe and you can find me on social media at memore.tv. So remember, I make lots of other videos. There, there, there.